Thank you so much for joining me, everyone. In this episode, we are going to focus on the show, of course, I Love Lucy, but in particular, a specific individual, and that's Frank Nelson. Frank Nelson, if you're familiar with I Love Lucy, was a recurring actor that played many different roles on the show I Love Lucy. Now, we don't want to make this episode a complete biography of Frank Nelson, but let me tell you a little bit about him. He was born in 1911 and died in 1986. He was popularly known as the guy who said, yes, in many TV shows across television history. He's known as an icon from primarily the 1940s going into the 50s, of course, the I Love Lucy age, and even all the way in through the 70s and to the present. He is very much renowned throughout the television world. Now, when Frank Nelson really shot up to fame was on the Jack Benny show. He usually played a clerk or a customer service person who was just really annoying and didn't really help anyone, and it really made everyone laugh in the audience. He also was a voice actor doing voices on the original Flintstones cartoon and the Jetsons, and he appeared regularly as a guest star on Sanford and Son and he passed away of cancer in 1986. Before we get into his I Love Lucy roles, let's look at some other TV shows that Frank Nelson has been on. Oh, mister. Yeah. Now this is a primary example, right before I Love Lucy, of Frank Nelson and Jack Benny really hitting it off and making comedy gold on this TV show. I mean, are you the floor walker here? Well, what do you think I am with this carnation, a float in the Rose Parade? <laughs> How can you keep a job as a floor walker? My father owns the store. Here's Frank Nelson in a quick shot in Sanford and Son. Yeah. <laughs> you in trouble, son. Are you the pilot? That's right. Well, this is my first long flight. You're mine, too. Uh, how, how long does it take to get to Hawaii? I don't know. We've never made it. <laughs> Now here are a few others I'm sure that you will enjoy, and even some that may surprise you. Yes. Now this next man is due to be executed at dawn, so I'm sure he'll be a little more cooperative. A soldier? Yeah. Uh, excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> Do you work here? No, I just thought it'd be fun to rent a tuxedo and stand around. And yes, Frank Nelson is so respected that he was even on The Simpsons. A few times. Excuse me, sir. Yes? Excuse me. Yes? Do you have a table for the mayor? Yes! So now that we've seen the different highlights of Frank Nelson's career, Let's take a look at the I Love Lucy episodes where he appeared and he had really prominent roles in the episodes. Now I found 11 episodes in which Frank Nelson appears. Now, he may have made even more cameos, but the thing is for my research, this is what I found. If I happen to miss any, just let me know in the comments. I would really appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts. Now Frank Nelson appeared in all seasons of I Love Lucy. He also appeared in the Lucy Desi Comedy Hour, also known as We Love Lucy, in one episode. So I'm just going to show you little clips of him in the episodes, and let me know if you actually remember him in these spots. Now the first appearance of Frank Nelson is in the first season of I Love Lucy, episode number 5, The Quiz Show. And he plays a character called Freddie Fillmore. Now Freddie Fillmore appears a few other times in the I Love Lucy series. It's probably the most popular and most often used character of his and people really like it. So let's take a look at Freddie Fillmore. Now the basic episode of the quiz show, Lucy's overdrawn in her bookkeeping. So she decides to go on a radio show, Females Are Fabulous, and she has to do a couple stunts, a couple things to make some money. And this is where Freddie Fillmore's character comes in. He's pretty much the host of the show. Let's go take a look at Frank Nelson in this part. Mrs. Ricky Ricardo, come on out here, Mrs. Ricardo. Basically, Lucy gets dressed up in a smock, and any time that she says the word ocean or anything related to water, she gets squirted with water. Uh, 
what a way to make a living. Now this is episode 32 in season 1. It's called Lucy Gets Ricky on the Radio. And in this episode, Ricky, Lucy, Fred, and Ethel are just listening, sitting down together and listening to the radio, actually listening to the Freddie Fillmore show. Basically, they have a husband-wife team go on the show and answer a set of questions. Ricky happens to answer the questions, kind of like Jeopardy, right before they're even they're even answered. And so Lucy is very impressed and gets him on the show secretly. However, what Lucy doesn't know is that that was pre-recorded and Ricky knew all the answers before the questions were even asked. And this is where they go on the Freddie Fillmore show, and this is what happens. What Freddie Fillmore actually decided to do last minute was to use random questions instead of preset questions which Lucy had memorized. So let's take a look. Orchestra leader and a singer. But what you don't know, and we didn't either until his wife told us today, he's one of the greatest brains of all time. How do you do? You uh, all ready for your questions? Yes, sir. Oh, they're going to be pretty hard. Uh What is the name of the animal that fastens itself to you and drains you of your blood? The Collector of Internal Revenue. Now, of course, as I was saying, the questions were switched and they were completely at random. Lucy had pre-recorded answers that she basically cheated for herself in order to win. And so this makes comedic gold. And, of course, we have Frank Nelson playing the straight man, trying to get the laugh from us, trying to make the whole scene come together. And I think he does a fantastic job. Here we go. Number two. What is a senator's term of office? The sap runs every two years. <laughs> Why did the French people put Marie Antoinette under the sharp blade of the guillotine? <laughs> to scrape the barnacles off her hull. <laughs> Now, of course, the Ricardos end up winning pretty much accidentally, and the episode ends. But then again, Frank Nelson is a great glue that kind of holds this whole comedic scene into place. Without him, the scene pretty much has no comedy. He's the one who holds everything together. Now we move on to Season 2, Episode 65, called Ricky and Fred are TV fans. Frank Nelson plays Sergeant Nelson. In this episode, Ricky and Fred are watching a fight on TV. The girls are just upset. They go outside. And through a misunderstanding, they get arrested and get brought to the police station. We can identify ourselves. We can? Sure. Uh, I'd like you to meet my friend Ethel Mertz. How do you do? Yeah, how do you do? And I'd like for you to meet my friend, Lucy Ricardo. How do you do? Yeah, how do you... Now, wait a minute! I'm Lucy Ricardo. This is Ethel Mertz and you're Sergeant Nelson. Yeah. How do you do? How do you now cut that off? Of course, it's pretty interesting to note that he's named Sergeant Nelson just as his real name, Frank Nelson. They use the same last names. I think that's pretty cool. He does a really good job of, again, being the straight man and providing the last for Lucy and Ethel. Episode 88 in Season 3, Ricky's Hawaiian Vacation. Again, Frank Nelson plays Freddie Fillmore. And Mrs. Mertz? Yep. I'm Freddie Fillmore of the Be a Good Neighbor program. Why, lad sakes, you are, aren't you? This here's Freddie Fillmore. Freddie Fillmore? Gosh, Mr. Fillmore, we watch your show all the time. Well, we have a big surprise for you. Uh, Your good neighbor, Lucy Ricardo, has written us a letter all about you. So, of course, Lucy, Ricky, Fred, and Ethel get on the show, and Freddie Fillmore is narrating the Be a Good Neighbor show. Now, I want you to see how many songs you can think of that contain those words. Now, this one is a little hard to miss. It's because it's episode 103 called Ricky's Movie Offer. Frank Nelson actually plays a talent scout named Ben Benjamin. He comes to Lucy's apartment. Lucy and Ethel think that he's a robber and a thief trying to get in, so they clonk him upside the head. And he pretty much doesn't do a lot of speaking in this episode. He does a little bit, but mostly he is trying to play the silent straight character with Lucy and Ethel playing mannequin with him. an awful headache. If you'll just read that over and I'll be back in a couple of days, you can read it for me, and then if it sounds all right, we'll give you a screen test. (laughs) Episode 132, Great Train Robbery in Season 5, 
Frank Nelson plays the conductor of a train, and pretty much Lucy continually pulls the emergency brake for different reasons, and Frank Nelson, the conductor, has to deal with it. Did you stop this train? <laughs> Madam, did you stop this train by pulling that handle? Well, I didn't do it by dragging my foot. <laughs> According to our schedule, we are already several minutes late. <laughs> Excuse me. No, no! Season 5, episode 153, Frank Nelson is in the episode Return Home from Europe. He plays a customs officer. Lucy decides to smuggle a 25-pound block of cheese, pretends it's a baby, and learns that, well, she still has to pay for the cheese, so she decides to eat it up with Ethel. Everyone on the plane thinks that the baby has disappeared, so they go to the customs officer. It looked like a baby, but it was in reality a piece of cheese. <laughs> you and Mrs. Ricardo ate 25 pounds of cheese. Season 6, episode 171, Lucy gets chummy with the neighbors. This is a new character for Frank Nelson. He plays Ralph Ramsey, the husband of Betty Ramsey, who becomes a good friend of Lucy's when they move to the country. The Ricardos, well, Lucy buys really expensive furniture. Ricky wants her to return it. They can't afford it. So they go back to Ralph Ramsey and say, hey, we have to return all the furniture. But there's a misunderstanding and they get into a fight. It's not for us. In other words, you don't like my wife's taste. Would you care to step outside? <laughs> I love it. So would I. Good. Season 6, episode 178, The Country Club Dance. Ralph Ramsey, again, played by Frank Nelson. Along with his wife, Betty, Fred and Ethel, Ricky and Lucy decide to join a country club. And they're dancing, and they're having fun, but, you know, the night gets late, and they decide to stop dancing. At least the guys do. They want to go home. However, this beautiful blonde comes in, and all of a sudden, all of the guys want to dance. Well, it was worth it. That Diane is a cute dish. Who wasn't she, though? <laughs> Do you know that I think she kind of went for me? Must be the Yule Brenner influence. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's that new perfume that Betty's wearing. Brings out the beast in a man. <laughs> oh, Lucy, that'd be fun! <laughs> And if we look at the Lucy Desi Comedy Hour, episode 1, Lucy takes a cruise to Havana. The cruise director, Frank Nelson, is the one who actually is trying to convince the girls that they should have a fun time and enjoy the trip that they're having to Havana. Why did you give us false information? Please, Miss McGillicuddy, take your hands off my whistle. You don't have to worry about us. We won't bother him. No, of course not. No. Oh, what a relief. Well, uh, don't forget, hot bouillon and soda wafers at snack time. Bye. Now, after doing this video, I actually forgot that, hey, there was actually one more. And here it is. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you no information about it. Just the visuals to do is down below in the comments. You give me all the information. Name of the episode, season, give me all the information that you can. How would you like it, madam? Well, medium or rare? Oh, uh, we're over here now. You see, we were over there, but there was such a draft I couldn't... <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you really enjoyed this episode. If you want to see more of I Love Lucy, if you have more ideas, let me know in the comments. I'd be more than happy to make more. Thank you so much, and don't forget, everyone. Always stay positive, and most importantly, be hopeful.